Oh my god! That looks like a steel Is that a that's rainbow? 17. No, that's like gotta be a Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, Ron! Oh my god! Well, Alright, Brad and I are gonna look again here, see if we can't find a bigger fish in this stream that's had a fish kill in the last couple of years and it had a ton of fish in it yesterday so I'm hopeful and yesterday I was using nines so I'm gonna go with the nine and I didn't bother with tails here silver or gold? they seem to really like silver but I caught fish on both so I kind of just stuck with silver but all that depth there get close to the tree edge Brad there and I think you'll do okay. Yep. Called it. All right. Off the schneid. Yep, and there's a bite. Good fish. Yeah. Right at 12, I'd say, huh? Right at the verge of death. Did I call that? Yeah, you I, much I, did. I called that. Yeah, nice brown. 12 or so. Very supportive and loving as always. You don't stay married for 30 plus years. There we go. So they like silver too, Brad. I'm not surprised. No, she, that woman saved my life countless times since I've been 18. <laughs> Countless times. Well, this is very encouraging. Because you know these some of these fish are going to make it and get big. Oop, come on, get off that rock. Fish all over and they're just running into it. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I noticed with the 15 was a lot of bumping and not stuck. Little teeny guy. But that's a very cool uh, app. Yeah, because that other thing really yeah, it changed. turned crappy. Now There's a baby. This was the most common fish yesterday, hopefully. We already caught two nicer ones, and uh, I had to go through probably 15 of those little ones to get one like we caught in the beginning. Bites. Little guy. Another little guy. Just a cute little brown. Sorry, buddy. Just a little guy. Well, I'll deal with that in a second. There you go. Little guy, double. Super fluorescent, yeah. Deep. Yeah, that's one of the downsides to having to fish slow and finesse. They will go, they will engulf here. I didn't think you'd come back that hard. No, he's following me all the way down, but he's definitely 12, so.
gone too. Sorry folks. Slipped out of my hand. Alright, that. That is a nice one. Yeah, that's 14. Oh, I've learned some things about rocks. Go slow, and it's not worth torquing your ankle. If you're gonna fall over, go fall over slow, and it's not gonna hurt so bad. Right. Worst thing you want is a full-on force it, clip a rock, and land your face or head on a rock. That, that is how you will die on a trout stream. Yep. Ain't gonna be from deep water. It's gonna be from conking your head. One, 10 incher, 11 incher? I think that's a skinny 12. Could be. The fish are delicious here too, by the way. Oh, hair on bite. Oh yeah, he might be 11. He's right on 12. No, you're right. Right on 12. There we go. Fish finally. It's been a bit. Well, if you had one color to use the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, double. If I had to use it, I'd take a silver double bullet. Yeah. If that was my survival lure, I, that's what I'd go with. Some sort of gold. Um, always done well on gold. Ooh. Although that. No picture. I don't know if I want to go way up there right away. Let's try it back. There you go. No? There. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, little guy. Little guy. Ah, there was one. Oh, here's a nice fish. like it. He's not 12 either. Uh, he's 12. Uh, let's see how bad he is. It's pretty bad. Bad? Yep. Well, maybe not. Let's see if he's pumping. He'll be okay. See blood? on this you know. look in his mouth I don't see anything as long as I didn't cut a rake or anything go. It, uh, he looks fine he's acting okay but yeah he's fine no no gill raker cut uh, 11 and a half maybe now oh, we'll check him just for the hell of it oh 12 12 and a quarter actually Brown trout. Yeah. Put him off a rock. Feels bigger. Well, it's not like they've been, most of them have been hitting it pretty hard. There's another one. Little guy. All right, but we're getting a few fish here now. Just a baby. Nice one. Called it. That's a nice brown bread. 13, something like that. Oh. It's 
another called it two called it's in one day i'm i'm smoking you notice i just did the babe roof point there i didn't do any kind of <laughs> talking about it Baby, there's another fish in there too. Jeez. Kidding me, dude? Anything hook possible. Just another little baby. <laughs> Ooh, come on. What was it? There's a better one. Said you wanted well you might not be twelve. It looks just under, doesn't it? Better size brown there though. Nope, well it ain't gonna matter. He slipped out of my hand. Is it? Oh take a get that up here. That's amazing. Pretty one too. That is amazing. Yeah, give that one a good look. There's another bricky here. Wow. That's unbelievable. That was a good catch. There's a 12er. There's your stringer fish anyway. Looks right. 13. Alright, we got Brad a man size lunch now. Well again I'll say I'm pleasantly surprised with the condition of this stream considering it was dead. Really dead two seasons ago, but probably had fish last year. Well, what do you want to do? You make the call. Like I said, I'm 10 minutes from home. What else is there around here that's kind of shortish that would be worth a shot? Well, we could. Um, I mean, this isn't bad by no means. Up north, and that's closer to 29, which is kind of on your way, right? So we could go up there. There's a couple of sections there where we can get in and get out. Something like a mile, mile and a half? Yep. Yeah. There's an easement section. Okay. There's an easement out and a bridge in. Could try that. Uh, we can even go down. 
handy and fish it up into the uh, to the spillway. Um, in any event, we'll check our planning tools, folks, and we'll get back to you on Plan B. We'll see what's going to happen here. All right, folks. So Plan B here. We're going to try out a section here and see if we can't rustle up a few fish here. There should be a fish as we hit this neck of this riff. Nice one. Yeah, not that nice. Oop, missed him. Yeah, nice one though. So, how, how was that in the current? It felt big. <laughs> it felt big. He gave you a nice jump right there. Yeah. Oop. You might get your slow mo on him, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that might be it. He's 14 and a half. He a, wasn't coming off, huh? It's one of those hookings that I just don't even know how to get out half the time. It's pretty much just tear them apart. There he goes. Yeah, that's 14 and a half. Something like that. All right, no skunk, Brad, on plan B. Nice. <laughs> Let's see if we're both going to get off it here. Oh we might. I, I, was, I was pretty much shocked, so I thought I was hitting the log or something. Well, Brad, uh, thanks for coming over today. Brad and I usually get out once or twice a year. Uh, and, uh, well, we had a nice small stream experience in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Again, some positive proof that that stream is on the mend uh, from having a massive fish kill three years ago. Um, I don't know. What do you think, 30? I'd say right around 30. You have to go back to the footage to find out for sure. But yeah. Brad got two for, two for dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the best fish we had there was a 14. Yep. And um, a lot of dinks again. And Brad caught a brookie. So yep. that is remarkable that there are brook trout in there. They had been stocked, I think, two seasons ago uh, and were victims of the fish kill. So I'm really surprised to see brookies yep. there. I always thought that water was a bit too warm yep. uh, for brookies. But here we just wanted to try a short section, see if we could find a big hippopotamus or something. and. Uh, it's midday, full sun. One fish. <laughs> Tough. I can cross this off my bucket list though. No, it's yeah. Brad's fished good. a famous river yeah. here. So, <laughs> But uh, as always, folks, thanks for watching Wisconsin Trout Fishing and happy fishing.